It's so exciting to be here, quite honestly. Uh, the Met Gala, obviously, 2022, right here in New York City. The energy, Judita, it's just insane, isn't it? It is insane. It's almost like COVID never happened. <laughs> because we're all packed in. The energy is so positive. Everyone's friendly. They're loving. Fashion brings out the best in everyone. It does. OG, as a former model, knows that sometimes it can be tense, but sometimes it can be festive. No, Judita, you did not just do that, because you know how jealous I am right now. I wish I was standing right there with you two stunning ladies. Yes, you both indeed. look amazing. Yes, indeed. Yes, oh, indeed. thank you so much, OG. Yeah, so I thank know, you. I know the, one of the hosts for tonight is Regina King. I want to know, have you... Have you met any of the hosts for tonight? Actually, we have. Uh, just a few moments ago, uh, we had spoken to Lala Anthony. We also saw Vanessa Hudgens. She looks absolutely divine. Uh, Lala Anthony was in a Juan Smith. She just looked the part in Burgundy. And we asked her a couple of questions. You're going to be looking at that shortly. But clearly, the hosts are ready to go. They're really excited for the thing this year. They're really embodying it. But what I love, Judita, is how they're embodying the thing, which is anthology of fashion but they're giving it like a little more than twist, you yes. know? Because like you said, with Lala Anthony wearing Laquan Smith, he brings an edge. He brings that urban vibe, a very haute couture urban edge. And with having the kinds of hosts you have, they've picked out this year, it's a celebration of diversity. It is. They have youth in Vanessa Hudgens. You have diversity with Lala Anthony. Absolutely. They have wisdom, they have age. So it's a good kudos to Vogue and the people who've selected this year. Fant Absolutely. Fantastic stuff. Uh, who, who else is, is, is going to be uh, hosting uh, the, the Met Gala uh, tonight? They've got Glenn Close. They've got Glenn Close. They've got Regina King. Yeah. And to be honest, I, I, I mean, I don't even want to sour the mood, but I think we all know that everyone is just so excited to see Regina King step out. Yeah. Because not only for her, but for everyone who has had to deal with any kind of loss or any kind of difficulty, mental health, Regina King is embodying that for them. So her coming out to the Met Gala, hosting the Met Gala this year, is a really, really big deal. And I'm so, I'm curious because it's anthology of fashion, right? Yeah. But the thing she had, the, the situation she had to deal with, at the time where at the 19th century, 20th, nobody was talking about mental health. So the irony of her just hosting is just absolutely beautiful. No, but I think it's also... What you find with Anna Wintour and Vogue is that they're battling public opinion. That is this relevant? Is this apt? Is this appropriate at this time? By having someone like Regina King, what you're saying is that we're going beyond fashion. Yeah. We're using fashion as a platform for commentary on things that are deeper, more profound, and more important. All right. Well, and of course, we'll have the um, usual co-chairs. We'll have Tom Ford, uh, Anna Wintour, and the likes. Yeah? Yeah. So let's just... Go right into the theme for this year's gala, which is Gilded Glamour White Tie, right? What are you looking forward to? Mm -hmm. Especially for me, I, I believe we spoke earlier on 360, and I told you that I wasn't sure I was going to be expecting something extravagant. <laughs> but then, you know, I was looking at, I was looking through all the pictures and what we might be expecting, but it's so retro. It's really just really like um, old school, like uh, what do you call it? The um, the the, uh, the the 18 I think it's 1890 to 1900 yeah. yeah exactly the Victorian more, era or so yeah, yeah. 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 exactly right. so what, what what who are you expecting who, so who are you honest, looking forward uh, to tonight for me I would say this if 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 you're watching Arise right now and you've seen the Vampire Diaries yeah. <laughs> or the originals and you know Catherine Pierce oh my goodness I, why would you pick those I I was going to say Age of Innocence by Scorsese. Okay, well, she that's goes to Vampire Diaries. I'm I sorry, swear, Age you are so Gen Z. You are so I Gen am, Z. I am, I am. I'm ashamed to I be am, standing here I right am. now. But I'm sorry, you just have to be honest. Age of Innocence is beautiful, but you have to give it to Vampire Diaries. They gave the Gilded Age a twist. Age of Innocence I'm is standing so, next to a so human literal. being <laughs> that puts Scorsese to the side I'm, for Vampire don't Diaries. Don't say this out loud, Jude. I kind of, I don't know public. you. I don't know her. I'm sorry. I just but don't. Quite honestly, I loved every single outfit from the show and I'm just looking forward to seeing big dresses I'm looking forward to seeing a lot of corsets I'm looking forward to seeing extravagant headpieces extravagant hairstyles she I'm loves seeing... a fascinator I do oh my god mine is all the you way to the back it's the whole <laughs> thing at the back so I'm looking forward to seeing all of that it's, I think it's going to be beautiful See, I mean listen, it is I'm 
basically a 90 year old woman trapped in my body. <laughs> so I want to see demure. Uh, I want to see refined. Yeah. I want to see understated elegance. Take me back to the 1800s. I'm here for it. <laughs> I, yes, I know I'm a bit OTT in this Gigi dress, but I'm just pretending. That's not I want to wear a potato sack with a fascinator <laughs> and just stroke a poodle. That's all I want to do. You know, I think what I was looking for was the, uh, the Bridgerton uh, series. That's right. Roaches that was, yes. is a huge that was, fan of that the was, Bridgerton. That was, that that was, was my reference. Was, yeah. that was, See, I think that's the OG reference, just yeah? gave us like a perfect balance for both of us. <laughs> right, right. OG, right. that's why OG, we want you around. Exactly. That's like right. the perfect balance. Bridgerton. Bridgerton. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so now tell me, what fashion yeah. designers are we expecting on the red carpet tonight? See, one of the yeah. regulars mm -hmm. is Donatella Versace. She Absolutely. holds down the Versace name every year. Mm -hmm. She's coming again. We're looking to see things like Givenchy, yeah. Gucci, mm -hmm. Prada, the classics. Yeah. But also, the, when you have the new guard taking over these fashion houses, they make it edgier. Remember Iman last year? Yeah. That is a new... A new new talent at the head of a classic fashion house. That's mm -hmm. what I'm excited about. And just to add to that, uh, in 2014, we saw a couple of uh, celebrities dress up similar to what we're looking at for this year's theme, which is, of course, the anthology of fashion. Designers like Charlie Waltzin, for instance, put together really beautiful pieces. So we're looking forward to maybe seeing um, a little bit of his outfit on the red carpet today, Oscar de la Renta. That is one designer that people are really looking forward to seeing on the red carpet today because that is one designer that you would say has been around for a really, really long time and has been able to maintain that name and it has just not been relegated to the side. People are also looking to see how other designers, new age designers, are going to embody designers that used to be big. Names like Anne Lowe, for instance, who designed people like the First Lady, you know, who never really got the credit for the work that they did. Mm -hmm. How are the celebrities today going to just pay tribute to those unsung heroes of fashion? So, but remember also, it's about America. It's celebrating the history of America. Yeah. So classic American designers, your Tommy Hilfiger that we see as well. Priyanka Chopra has a favorite mm -hmm. of, mm -hmm. or people like an homage to Halston. Mm -hmm. These are things that might happen. Oh, when just Winfrey just arrived. The screaming started, it means exactly. we've got someone on the red carpet. <laughs> It's the woman herself. Exactly. It's Anna Wintour. It is looking absolutely stunning. I love the fact that she's able to maintain her look. This is her hair, this is her style, and this is Anna Wintour. She is the reason we're all here today celebrating the anthology of American fashion. And we always know that with Anna Wintour, there's a the classic shades, but only at the Met Gala is the rare occasions where we see her take off the shades and see the eyes of the godmother of fashion. Absolutely. She's, she definitely is one person that a lot of people aspire to be like when it comes to you know American fashion and just how to organize every single thing like what we see here today again this is a fundraiser so it just goes to show the different angles to this woman and you can see that that whole that description in the theme of gilded glamour mm. Mm. she's got to personify it because she's at the head of this tree of talents and celebration of fashion and that's what she's doing from the tiara to the jewels to her poncho to the gown classic demure but gilded to perfection absolutely it's the crown it is the crown for me i think she definitely wants everyone to know that this is the met gala she has um, had issues with how some celebrities interpret the theme over the years and she's always just said this try to just get dressed don't show yeah. up in a potato she, sack she definitely leads by example doesn't <laughs> she, she does she does